Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Smart Trader. Hope you guys are doing great. And in this particular video, we will be talking about Streak Algo. So uh, eight months back, I had made a video on how to do Algo trading in Zeroda, right? So this was semi-automatic. So we tried to made uh, used Trade Rocket and all that to make it fully automated, right? So if you don't know about it, then go and click this video. Uh, I'll just put the link in video description. So click on this video and check out. Today I will talk how you can use this platform to create different strategies because I saw a few common questions about Algo Streak uh, tutorials and also a recent comment how to buy above previous candle high or something like that. I thought I'll just make this basic videos for the ones who don't know to create their strategy because you have so many ideas in your mind, but you don't know how to create that on this platform. That is common because initially when I used, I didn't know where to click and what is the logic. So as and when I started using, I understand what field will help in what way. So I'll try to explain in each and every video, different, different videos, uh, different, different uh, ways how we can create your own strategies. So your strategy, you can own code here and then backtest it and do paper trading or you can directly deploy to your trading account. Okay. So this video will not be definitely will not be for beginners. Algo is Algo trading is not for beginners. Okay. For the ones who already traded who doesn't have much time to sit and trade front of the system, but they can, you know, automatically trigger some trades. So now, uh, see, for example, you have to go to create strategies. If you have your streak membership, you will get all these options. So you can create your strategies. And then let's say you want to add any stock, you want to add equity or if you want to add option, anything you can add over here. If you want to add futures, you can add over here. So not a problem. Whatever, if you're equity trader, futures or option trader, you can add based on that. I'm just adding an equity example for you. Now time frame. let's say you want to buy. In this video, we are going to discuss about the breakout or let's say buying about the previous candle high or so. So let's take an example of uh, 30 minutes. Let's say you want to buy above your previous candle 30 minutes high or you can consider anything your 30 minutes, 15 minutes, one hour breakout, one day candle breakout, apply anything. I'll just give example of 30 minutes. Now you want to buy or sell, you decide. Okay, so I'm putting an example of buy. Now, if it is equity, you can mention the quantity, how much you want. If it is, uh, let's say future, if you put one, it will consider one lot. See here, one uh, is equal to one lot. If you're putting future, it will consider as one lot. If you're putting equity stock, it will consider as quantity. So one quantity over here. Now you want to buy. So your condition is you want to buy only when it crosses on the previous candle. Let's say, so this is an SBN chart. If you see, this is a 30 minute. So according to you, if you want to buy on a breakout of, let's say, you want a breakout of this high of previous candle. Let's say this candle, if it is breaking this candle, or if you want to sell below this candle, this can be used. Or if it is one hour or one day, you can create based on that. So whatever is your strategy, you can create. So I'm just showing an example how it can be coded in this very easy. So now you need to mention close price. So what is close price? The current trading price will be your close price. So you can just say the close price because as and when the price keeps going up and down, the close price keeps moving, right? So your close price. Um, crosses above because in this case you want to go upside so crosses above uh, you want to go cross above what uh, previous candles high right so you can say previous candle previous candles high price okay, this is minus one is previous candle and what is the previous candle one day or what you want 30 minutes candle only right so you are checking with the 30 minutes candles previous high that candles high when it crosses okay either you can give crosses above or equal to there are many other words also it depends how you want to take it so once it crosses above then take an entry something and create for example apart from this you can add more conditions to it not a problem you can keep adding on conditions after adding you can add the parameters um, you can also give multi time frame not a problem so it, let's say you want to cross check some rsi of uh, longer time frame so let's say you're gonna enter here but you want to cross check that on a one day your rsi is um not crossing so all that condition you can give based on your strategy i'm just giving you example how to buy uh, from any of the previous candles high that is done so this is just a conditions now it depends where you want to buy which candle you want to buy uh, you have multi you can create multi time frame and say a different time frame also but this is a basic to basic i would say and then you can give your stop loss or target let's say bring a target of stop loss 11 or 0.3 or 2% 5% and all that you can give based on your ratios 
and then you can give your basic start date this is just for back testing and then you can give time frame let's say you want to trade only till let's say 12 o'clock 12 pm is the last time you can give your timing after that it will not consider then you want to give high energy or candlestick it is showing so candlestick is good because you're going for breakout you need candlestick you can't do it in high energy then whether you want to go for mis or normal order you can do that and um, you can also allocate how much money you want to give for this trade let's say you have 10 lakh rupees or 1 lakh rupees are going to put maximum allocation for a trade so let's say you want to put 1 lakh out of your 10 lakh so for this trade you're going to give 1 lakh trade and um, percentage basis whatever we put here target and position size based on capital based okay so the capital is this and uh, how many cycles you want so how many times you want this all go to run right so once you're done with the trade maybe you just want one trade just put one you want two trades three trades want up to 20 trades you can put like that so let's say you want to take i'm just giving example 20 trades let's say okay, this is not a strategy this is showing how to create such an uh, strategy okay how to buy above whatever candle previous candle so SBI and whatever you want to give 30 minutes buy or whatever name and then you can give a back test and then you will get all the results of this back test now let's say your wins is buy and losses for 10 signals were formed overall you're in close to one person somewhere and uh, if you want to deploy this if you give deploy it will go to two types one is paper trading and one is take live I would not suggest you to go to take live because at least practice paper trading for few months you will come across a lot of challenges of coding because if you code something wrong system will be doing the wrong thing itself right so do some paper trading until unless you understand this platform so once you are very confident with the platform you understand all these columns then only go and do live uh, trade based on your strategy if your strategy is good only you can take live also that also is there but paper trade it okay and here you can just give strategy <clears throat> 20 times and uh, allocation cnc what order you want you want market order or limit order also you can mention position sizing okay based on capital based you are given maximum allocation is one lakh for this trade so for one lakh whatever shares you they will get so much shares only it will buy a cnc right so if it was mis it will buy more shares it will only automatically calculate so one good thing about this so i would suggest you to do paper trading for a few days as soon as you click on paper trading um goes like this and it stays there and uh, you see here we're waiting for first figure even like this i just gave you an example of how to create a um, strategy of buying uh, from the previous high right it can be 30 minutes previous high breakout or one hour one day like this and like this we have many other ways of coding different different ideas and strategies or indicators how how we use them I will show that in different different part of this video. So I will make a separate playlist for the streak algo. I'll just mention it as streak algo, algo trading. So you can go to that series and just check one. So we already made the initial video of how to do algo trading. This is how to create strategies. That's in it. So I will add part one, part two, and so on and go. So you can look at all these series. So hope this video was an add-on to you guys. If you have any other doubt regarding streak, how to create certain ways, certain your strategy or some code which you don't know how to create that the logic behind it do let me know i will try to get back with an answer on a video if i don't know i will definitely research about it and get back to you guys so thank you so much for watching this video please do hit that like and subscribe see you soon with one more learning video till then take care stay safe